Do you like leeks? Do you like the leek vegetable? I don't. Particularly don't like these Discord leeks and these fake leeks that have been coming out recently in the last 48 hours. It's been particularly interesting to see the community's reaction to a lot of these things. As people are like, oh my god, F-16. <laughs> or look at this list of vehicles that someone had posted on Discord, which could totally not be edited into the whole entire list from Wikipedia of vehicles. You know, it's just funny stuff like that. And I feel like it undermines Garjan's work ethic. It obviously undermines the way that an update traditionally happens. You know, dev blogs, you know, people go, oh, ah, lovely, but what if, so to speak. Uh, and then people get on with their day and they're like, okay, well, there's going to be more dev blogs later down the line and then we'll get a dev server and then there's the major update. So, you know, there is plenty of hype there, but it undermines the basic core principle of how War Thunder does updates. Because they don't publish a roadmap, people are always going to speculate. It's always going to be a thing, no matter what. You know, that's just War Thunder. What is going to happen? What's going to what's going to be the next greatest thing? Everybody wants the scoop, the inside scoop. They want to feel like they're part of the the next bit of information, and that can be quite troublesome. The only people that I trust well enough to do that kind of thing are the data miners. They've actually provided reasonable value and have helped the community understand certain changes that the company has made towards the video game like no other and it's not like the patch notes make any sense it's like oh we've changed a value to on you know to gun depression on a specific vehicle by 0.25 according to the statistics of this book no one gives a fuck give us worthy changes like we've updated the sound drivers here are the new sounds that we have or we've got beautiful new ui here and and, and quality of life updates and give us something more just to focus on, oh we, we we've changed the shell type and the shell fuse of delay on on xyz I, I i just find it quite funny so the data miners have provided at least the community with some reasonable form of uh, quality assurance, I suppose, because a lot of times the Gaussian themselves don't even publish absolutely everything in patch notes, even in its, its fixed series. Obviously, the other leaks have come out of unfinished models, which they still haven't released into some of the game. It obviously comes out of them publishing uh, and accidentally publishing the dev files on the community development kit and then releasing a bunch of unfinished vehicle models and such and such. And that was a while ago. There are still a few vehicles from that list that haven't made the game just yet. And we do not have access to the internal de development server that allows them to test the new and upcoming content. Obviously, there is the development server, the dev server, which is more like a marketing piece these days than anything else. But that is after we've roughly known all of the vehicles to come after an update because they do a dev preview stream. And the hype cycle starts off. Dev blogs, data mines, dev preview stream, then all the content creators get access to the dev server. The dev server won't have 99% of the content on it that's actually really impactful. And then the major patch will come out and we'll have, oh no, there's been a new vehicle announced or a new vehicle in, 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 in the update. And it's just completely and utterly ruined. A specific battle rating looking at you, 2S38. Anyway, the Discord leaks, some of them are correct, some of them aren't. And I find that quite funny because honestly, some of them are just good guesses a lot of the time and sometimes a little birdie told me that some of the guys who work independently kind of want to counter these lists in themselves and they just want to generate a bunch of excitement around an update and their idea of doing this was publishing a bunch of leak lists as a whole across a variety of different accounts and trying to stir up a bit of trouble. How they achieve that is quite simple. They do actually know people who work for the company and some of them have very, very close ties to some people who actually know what is coming in a given update. So they can relatively guess and safely bet on that particular uh, vehicle set or vehicle list. Other times it's a matter of just estimating what Garden will do based on current trends or, or the way that they're doing things and just publish a list of random vehicles for the sake of doing it. So watch out, you may be a bit gullible, 
Uh, just don't, just don't believe them. Unless guys and publishers themselves, there is no real reason why some of these lists will be 100% accurate as well. Not everybody can be 100% correct all of the time. As for the F-16 leaks that have appeared in the last 48 hours, I don't know why you'd go to such effort of trying to fake and, and obviously try to publish such detailed efforts in trying to get people to believe that the f-16 is in game i don't understand but look i'm not going to take that power away from you some of the memes from it have been fantastic and <laughs> what can i say really the only time i've ever managed to collectively confuse and bamboozle the community was april fools in 2020 or 2021 where i did the bob sample video so you know take it with a grain of salt because nothing lasts forever unless it's official just wait out until the update drops. Simple, really.